What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So I recently took another solo trip out to L.A. I stayed out in the Hollywood area and I filmed some of the vibes. Y'all already know half the time my phone was dead, so I caught what I caught when I could catch it. But that's enough chitter chatter for now. Let's get into the vibes. So every time I come to L.A., I always hop on the flyway bus. To get to the flyway bus, I usually just go down to Terminal 5 and hop on the bus. Then I take that 20, 30 minute ride, depending on traffic, down to Union Station and I take the metro station to wherever I need to yeah, go. Yeah, I'm back in my city. So just for future references, anywhere that I've been to three or more times, I call it my city. So back in LA, I just got dropped off at Union Station. Look at the palm trees. Oh my God. I'm dying. So I'm at the flyaway station at Union Station. So once you get to the flyaway station, you have to pay for a ticket here or you can pay online. But you just scan it here and they let you go about your business. So from here, Union Station, I take the train to, I think, Hollywood Vine. And then I walk to my hostel. But if that change, I think I'm pretty sure that I get off at Hollywood Vine. But if not, I'll let y'all know. But I'm about to go down to Union Station, get my tap card, load my tap card. I might show y'all that process. I might not. My phone is dying. I'm going to probably talk to y'all when I get back to the hotel. I mean, the palm trees is sickening. Once I got down to the metro line, I loaded my tap card for a one-way trip, which is like $1.75. Then I took the red line to um, whatever my stop was. It's really easy to tell which stop you need to get on. Once you get to Union Station, just put in your um, location on your GPS to where you're going. And it literally tells you what line you need to get on, what stops you need to take. Like, it's really simple. But I do not recommend the metro station if you like, you know, queasy or you like the personal space. Cause you never know what you're going to get on the metro line. Like, I've been next to people doing drugs. I've been next to people butt naked. You know, all of the above. So just to warn you, the metro is not really full. Ooh. restaurant they supposedly have a really good happy hour two for one drink deals y'all know i love a good deal i think this is actually my hostel right here where it says hostel i'm gonna let y'all get first look when i after i check in Yeah, this is it, the Samsung. As you can see, it's really giving like bring it with everything. Access denied. Woo! So steep the steps. Excuse me. I'm really liking it so far. It's really giving me 
what it needs to give. Set them at room 30. And I think I'm staying in like a shared space, so I'm gonna turn my camera off when I first open the door because I don't want nobody to be in here getting dressed or anything. 21 through 30, of course. This way. Huh? Oh. <sighs> Actually. Yeah, so nobody's in here right now. So going into the room, I can't flip my camera around. This is, it's just three, six beds, lockers if you need it, regular fan. I'm about to go to the restroom and see, see what it's giving. Third, if you went to like a university or college, that's what the bathroom setting is giving. But I need to turn the camera off because people are in here shower. But this is basically like that, like a dorm room shower. I might have to do a voiceover if y'all can't hear me, but this is, I'm walking up to the restaurant that I'm going to, the Mexican place that got happy hour, but it's an Irish pub right here. Drinks might be very delicious. I might have to come here tomorrow. Jameson's, but where I'm going is right on the other side of Vogue. See, they got security at the Mexican place see what it's giving. Lord, am I going to have a seat? So it's called Cabo. 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 Unfortunately, there's no happy hour today, but I'm still going to eat here. And I still might get a drink here, depending on what it's giving. This is the happy hour when they have it. They don't have it today. They got some delicious looking drinks though. I think I'm gonna get the Luchos Nachos. Come on, Nachos. They're giving very much so stacked. Thank you. I'm not trying to do that on the first two hours I've been here. That's what this one was eight bucks. Getting to these nachos though.
I explored the strip for about an hour just sightseeing and I was feeling pretty restless but my body was exhausted just from um, flying there so I called myself going back to the hostel to take a nap but I ended up not waking up until the next morning so night I'm about to walk to I think there's a subway somewhere close to here I can get a breakfast sandwich well, I see a McDonald's but I'm not really trying to go there but this is the city during the day such a big difference y'all it was so many people out here so much going on last night like I really started tripping out and I just had to go to my room and go to sleep so now I'm up early of course because my body is used to getting up early anyways, but now that I'm three hours behind, I've been up since like five and it's seven. But yeah, I'm about to just walk, probably walk a mile or two to get some exercise and I'm going to get some breakfast and then I'll tune y'all in. I don't really have, the only plans I have today is to go to the movie theater i'm gonna show y'all that tonight but other than that today after i walk and go get breakfast i'm just going to um see if there's anything any free events to do today it's sunday so probably not too much to do i'm just gonna relax study my spanish journal a little bit but I'll see y'all a little bit later when I get ready to go to the movies later on tonight because what kind of morning would it be without my kickstart Hey, I found a hot and juicy seafood restaurant that's like a 15 minute ride on the, the public transport. So I'm about to go out here and take the bus and go get some food. I always get mixed up on where to go. <sighs> I was just up there studying some Spanish. But now I'm done with that. I'm about to go get some food. I'm so lost. I came all the way around. It's written all over your face. So I took the bus to Hot and Juicy. I originally planned to eat in, but it was too chilly to eat outside. So I brought my food back to the hostel and just ate in the um, the kitchen, the shared space. The food was very delicious. It knocked me out, of course, for about an hour. And then I got up and got ready to go to the movie theater. Y'all, this movie theater experience was a uh, 10 out of 10. You'll hear me say that periodically throughout these clips. Um, I definitely recommend if you're in the LA area and you see a movie that you're interested in, then definitely visit this theater. Um, everything about it was just, it was good, besides the concession prices. And if you come a little early, like I did, they got charger stations, y'all. You put in your own password, it's pretty safe. I charged my phone for like 30 minutes before the show. And y'all know me, no matter how many places I go, when I see little gadgets like this, I'm gonna act like I ain't been nowhere. So that's another cool feature. But I definitely recommend if you are Hollywood Boulevard, definitely come and visit this theater. Like 
the effects of the movie, everything was just, it was it was 10 out of 10. The prices was high as hell at the concession, of course. Um, but other than that, I definitely recommend. The movie was really, really, really good. I really liked the movie. I actually never seen that movie before until just now. It was a really good movie. It had a good story. Um, so now I'm about to get some Chinese food. I'm actually just getting like a side of noodles to go with my leftovers I had from earlier. What's the name of this place? Oh, let me see. I seen it lighten up and I seen people in here so I decided to come. It's actually right. It's one block down and a street over from my hospital, so I mean I really couldn't have picked a better location to stay at. Let me just give y'all a review of the hostel while I'm waiting on my food. I really like the hostel that I'm staying at. I think next time I come, I might get a private room. I just wanted to stay in the in like the dormitory part just to see how it is, like how the hostel is. I didn't want to pay for a private room and not like it because that's happened to me before. But um, other than that, I really liked it. It's clean. Um, the people at the front desk were available. I know when I got here, I think it was like an outage in LA. So like an hour before I arrived at the ho my hotel, they didn't have any power. So when I checked into my room, um, my outlet by my bed didn't work, but they fixed it. They got it straight. It was on. The kitchen was really, the kitchen is really nice, clean. It's organized. Um, the shared space, I really love the shared space with the pool table and the couches and everything. The bathrooms are nice. The bathrooms were pretty clean. I know I seen um, like people cleaning early this morning and then I seen a few people there in the evening. So I, I think they clean the bathrooms all day. At least I hope they do. Um, but yeah, that's my review on the hotel. It's really, well, on the hostel. I need to stop saying hotel. I would say eight out of 10, well, no, 10 out of 10. Eight just for the hostel alone, and then I'm gonna give it a 10 because of the location. So, if you're looking for a cheap place to stay when you come to LA, you wanna stay in Hollywood, right on the strip, near a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, a lot of shit to do, and you don't mind staying in a hostel. It's really not like if some people hear hostel and they think like it's real raggedy or, you know, it's nice. If you don't want to stay in a shared space, just book the private room. They have private rooms. They're a little more expensive. Because I know for this weekend, I paid $79 for Saturday to Monday. $79. And I was, I've been barely in my room. I was just in my room to sleep and to change my clothes, and that's it. So if that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to be out and you don't mind sleeping in, like, the shared dormitory space, book it. But also be mindful of what time you can check in to the hotel and what day you're checking in because if you check in late in the day, like the bottom bunks in the shared space are first come, first serve. So if you check in late, you're going to be on the top bunk. But if you don't mind that. Other than that, everything's been cool. I'm ready to go in. And they're calling me to come pick up my food. So I'm going to holler at y'all. Probably tomorrow when I'm checking out, I'm about to get my food. Um, I'm gonna walk down the strip a little bit more just cause I'm not really ready to go upstairs yet. And then after that, it's probably not much happening cause it's Sunday night. But after that, I'm gonna go upstairs, eat my food, take a shower and lay down cause I gotta leave the hostel in the morning by 10 cause my flight leaves at one and I'm taking the train and then a bus to the airport, so. That can take like an hour. So yeah, adios amigos. If I don't vlog in the morning, I probably will. But if I don't, thank you for watching this far. Hopefully you can hear me with this mask and the traffic. If not, I'm gonna just do a voiceover. Let me wait a second with the traffic coming. I just wanted to say thank you for watching the video this far and 
I got more videos to upload from previous trips and I got more footage to come for upcoming trips. Like it's crazy. I got like, well, my birthday is in two weekends. So, well, three weekends technically. My birthday and then I'm going home. I'm about to go to Florida with my sisters again. I'm going to this crazy concert for my birthday. Um, I don't know what's going on for Thanksgiving. I'm going to Cancun for New Year. So, I mean, the vlogs are really about to give. Hopefully, I get a new phone for my birthday, too, because I, I record everything on my phone. So, hopefully, I get something new for my birthday. But I'm going to vlog my birthday, too, because I'm kind of celebrating my birthday for like a week straight. Um, but y'all going to see. Tune in. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I know it's all over the place. I'm out of the van. So I might have to change my van life background. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. 